the MCU has been going strong for more than a decade now. And from what we saw from SDCC, we are going to get more content and it's going to go stronger for more decades to come. But anyway, since we've been in the MCU now, we've seen some great moments in the 20 plus movies that we've seen. And I'm here to highlight 10 of them. 10 of the most hyped moments in the MCU. At number 10, we have We Are The Guardians of the Galaxy moment in the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie. This movie surprised a lot of people. Before it came out, people were like, who are this group of heroes? We don't know anything about them, except for comic book readers who did. And it, it just came off different from all the other MCU movies that we saw. It was comedic, it has some action scenes, it has some emotional scenes in them. And this M5 scene was just gold the way peter starts off with the dance scene to him wielding the infinity stone and this group who just knew each other just a while ago faced this danger together it just solidified their name as yeah the guardians of the freaking galaxy you said it yourself bitch we're the guardians of the galaxy at number nine we have the underrated avengers movie age of ultron the intro scene um the first avengers movie was like epic one of the best comic book movies of all time so the sequel had a lot to live up to and this movie came out and the intro just showed this epic sequence with the avengers in action everyone doing their part the whole sequence just showed how the avengers are now in sync and just fight together it was just a really cool opening to a very underrated avengers movie Now at number 8, we have the Illuminati scene from Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Say what you will about this movie, it did what it set out to do. There may be plot holes and all that, but I like the visualization, the score, the acting was on top. And one of the marketing and one of the things that people were so excited to see were the Illuminati. There were so many theories on who could be and who could not be there. And when it finally came, of course, Marvel Studios also spoiled the excitement a little when they paraded everything on their promos and all that. But when it came to theaters and we came to people actually seeing the Illuminati team, people freaking lost their mind. Especially when it came to John Krasinski's fan cast, being Mr. Fantastic and Patrick Stewart coming back as Professor X. Of course, not forgetting Captain Carter, Maria Rambo. Black Bolt also had a lot of love. At Krasinski's Mr. Fantastic and Patrick Stewart's Professor X got the most love and cheers. Now at number 7, we have Team Cap versus Team Iron Man in Captain America Civil War. This movie was amazing. It was like an Avengers movie without the title. It has so many themes in it, so many conflicts that resulted in the team dividing up and in so doing left the Avengers and the whole world vulnerable to Thanos' attack in Infinity War. One of the big selling points of this movie was who was right, Team Cap versus Team Iron Man. Which side were you gonna take? And it was the first time you saw the Avengers come head to head in a conflict fighting each other and <laughs> it was just this sequence that was unending, frustrating, sad and yet epic at the same time as you saw your favorite heroes fight each other in this trilogy of Captain America. At number 6, we have the I Am Iron Man scene in Iron Man, the first movie that kicked off the MCU, the spark that lit the fuse, that exploded into this gigantic franchise. After Iron Man had done saving the day, fighting Iron Monger, he finally goes on a press tour. People were now, you know, I mean, suspicious or at least sure that this guy was the Iron Man fighting the other Iron dude. Tony Stark was now faced with a choice, should he reveal his identity or not? And he just did the thing that only Tony Stark would do. And he just revealed his identity in the coolest way possible. I am Iron Man. At the fifth spot is the Avengers first team up. I'm always angry by Hawk in the first Avengers movie. I mean, all the movies in phase one were leading to this. We've got all these heroes that we've watched from different movies band together to fight the invasion that Loki had initiated and it was just nothing short of epic in the way the whole movie turned out to be and this scene man I can't stress enough how people were so hyped about this scene Bruce uttering these words and now might be a really good time for you to get angry that's my secret cat I'm always angry <laughs> Yeah, 
Avengers burning together in this cool hero shot. At the fourth spot, we have Captain America picking Thor's hammer in Avengers Endgame. The conclusion of the Infinity Saga. This was just an outstanding movie from the get-go. Of course, it had some metal parts that were slow, but everything just went on. It hit every beat. The end fight scene was just this grand battle. The fight to end all fights. The fight to save the whole universe. And this scene where Captain America lifts the hammer, something that we thought he had the potential to from what we saw from Avengers Age of Ultron. In short, this scene is just going to be remembered in the MCU like forever. Thirdly, we have the three Spider-Man swinging together in Spider-Man No Way Home. If you ever told me that maybe five years ago that these three Spider-Man were going to come together in a single movie, I would have said there was no way it was going to happen from the terms that Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire left on their last movies. It wasn't that great to say the least. And to see them come in this movie, three generations of Spider-Man in this fight scene at the end of the movie and them all swinging, bouncing off each other and landing in their iconic poses, this was just glorious. At the second spot, we have Thor arriving in Wakanda in Avengers Infinity War. I didn't know where to put this, whether to put it at the number one spot or the second spot. As anyone, they may even put this at number one. So in the fight scene at the end, the Avengers and the people of Wakanda were not having a good time to say the least. They, they were losing. And Thor, after making this new weapon, Stormbreaker, arrives in Wakanda in this magnificent scene. Everybody recognizing that one of the big guns is in the fight and <laughs> him uttering these words. And at number one, we have Avengers Assemble in Avengers Endgame. Or should I say on your left? Because it seems those scenes are just connected. Anyways, most of the heroes disappeared when Thanos snapped in Avengers Infinity War. And in this epic conclusion, when it feels like the heroes are losing, we hear these words that Cap said to Sam in the second Captain America movie. On your left. And all the heroes assemble Black Panther, oh, rest in peace, Chadwick, to all the other heroes that were kind of people, the Asgardians, different beings from different places, different worlds, everyone who is someone who can fight. Most of the heroes we've seen and not seen arrived to take part in this fight and win everything, lose and lose everything. Them assembling together and Cap utters this iconic words for the final battle to fight to save the universe. Avengers! Assemble. No! Now that's it for the video, as you know there are more than 20 iconic hyped up moments in the MCU, these are just 10 of them. If this video does well, I'm inclined to make part 2 of it and let me know in the comments below what you think of this video, what was your top 3 iconic moments or hyped up moments in the MCU. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, turn on that post notification bell not to miss any other video. As always, Nerdy Sage here, see you guys in the next one. Seems like I'm always thanking you for something. <clears throat> what are you doing? Uh, we, we don't do that here.